Well, hello and welcome. Peppy Richard here. And this is part one of a video series on how to make maple syrup at home. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a couple different collection systems that we use in order to collect the sap from the maple trees to boil down into maple syrup. So let's get started. First, a little background on how we got started tapping our maple trees here at home. A few years ago, I was remembering the times as a child when my father would tap our maple trees at home, collect the sap, and make syrup. I thought that would be a fun idea to share with my grandchildren. So I talked to my son in law, Mark. He has several maple trees on his property. I said, hey, why don't we tap some trees, try and make some syrup? He said, sure, why not? So that's what we did. So I went online and I found the Tap My Trees Beginner Maple Syrup Kit. It comes with three collection buckets like the one behind me here, uh, three spiles and three lids and a drill bit. It also came with this little informational booklet titled Guide to Maple Tapping and Making Maple Syrup at Home. So that was very helpful to getting started in our maple syrup making. It gives a lot of information. It's really basic, but it was very helpful when we first got started. So let me show you what those things look like. First, the buckets look like this. Uh, they have a hole here to hang on the, the tree to collect the sap in. and. Um, Came with the spiles. The spiles look like this. The spiles just the tap that you put into the tree. This is nice because it, it comes incorporates a hook right here. You can hang the bucket on. It also has a little tube here uh, where the lid fits on. The pins fits through here. It keeps the lid on top of it as well. The lids look like this. Just, that'll sit on top of the bucket. Sort of like this. Keeps any debris from falling into the, the bucket while you're collecting the sap. Naturally, you're in the outdoors. You're gonna have bark and insects and dirt, those type of things. Gonna fall into there. Uh, this kind of helps prevent some of that. You're still going to get some because, again, you are in the outdoors. Uh, this also came with a little uh, drill bit like this. This is specifically designed to tap the maple trees. It's a, basically a wood bit, but uh, sharp here on the end so it can get into there. You really don't want to drill about no more than two inches into the tree. It won't really harm the tree. It'll, it will um, repair itself, and, and by the next year, you won't even know where the, the hole was before. This is what they look like when they're attached to the tree. We can open up the lid and see the sap collecting inside the bucket. The buckets themselves are semi-translucent, so you're able to see the level of sap without opening them. Here you can see how the bucket hangs on the hook and how the lid is attached to the spile with a pin. On this particular day, it's kind of rainy and overcast, so you can see here on this bucket how the lid has actually helped prevent some of the rain from falling into the bucket and diluting our sap. If you're interested in purchasing one of these kits, I'll leave a link to their website in the video description below. Just remember, I don't make any money if you would purchase something from them. But don't forget to tell them that Pappy Richard sent you, and then that way, you can pay the exact same amount as everyone else. I'm planning on doing a complete review of this product in a future video. So make sure you click the subscribe button so you'll be the first to be notified when I post a new video. Um, the other thing we use are the, uh, you might have seen the blue collection bags if you drive around the country at all during the wintertime or early spring. And uh, see the, all the blue bags hanging from the maple trees. Well, that's a collection system like this. It's just a maple sap bag tree holder like this. Yeah, it's not a tree holder. Holds a bag. Okay. Get them. They'll come uh, in two different parts. The first part comes in like this. It's the actual holder. It has a hole here that uh, fits over the spile. It kind of keeps it on the tree. And then inside of that, you have a bag retainer. I like to call it the, the bag retainer. Just a circle here that kind of keeps the bag on. They're pretty easy to load. I can show you how to do that here real quick. Just take the bag like this. Feed it up through the retaining ring. And just fold it over the retaining ring. I like to leave about an inch overhang on the bottom here. Pretty easy like this. Once you get that over top like this, you'll insert it into the actual bag holder. Might have to squeeze a little bit here just to uh, compress it a little bit to get in the bag holder. Slide it in here like this. And it's about even there. Give it a good tug down. That kind of seats it in place. And then you're all set. You can go ahead and hang that on your tree. There's a couple different spiles that we use uh, with this type of bag holder. These two, pretty similar. Just that one has a smaller hole than the other one. One's a 5 16th hole, one's a 7 16th hole. Doesn't really make a difference. The sap's still gonna drain out of it. Has a little spout here on the end. That little drip end here, drips into the bucket. This little latch here, it's like a shark fin. That's what holds the, uh, the holder on there so it doesn't uh, fall off. Just put that on over top of this. Kind of catches there, prevents it from falling off the tree. We just want another one they're going to try this year. 
very similar. This is a stainless steel one. The other two are actually aluminum, so they, do, they will bend if you're trying to pound them into the tree. Sometimes they'll bend or break off. These are stainless steel, so I'm hoping they'll hold a little up a little bit better than the other ones did. Same concept, gets pounded into the tree, has a little washer on it. You can see it there, I hope you can see that. It's got a little washer on it. And um, the bag holder just slips on over that, and then the washer keeps it on in place. Here's what they look like in action. You can see that they're also semi-translucent, so you can see the level of the sap. If we take a look at it from the side, you can see the sap dripping out of the spile into the bag. The top of the holder also helps prevent water and debris from falling into the sap. So that's just a quick look at two of the ways we collect our maple sap here to make our maple syrup. There are many other ways to do that. In fact, if you have another way that you collect your maple syrup, please leave a comment down below so you can let everybody else know how you do it. In my next video, I'll discuss the actual tapping of the trees. We'll talk about what size trees you need to tap, how to drill a hole, how to collect the sap. Hope you'll join me for that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post a new content. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something, please make sure you hit the like button so other people will learn about my channel. And as always, thank you for joining Pappy Richard.